Hey, what's going on YouTube? And uh, those people interested in moving in, moving to Tampa. Uh, my name is Kenyatta. And um, I recently moved down here to Tampa. And uh, just to let you know, um, I've drive and lift. So I've driven around Tampa a good bit. And I've driven through all parts of Tampa. Um, the, part, the, the place I'm gonna talk to you about today in Tampa is West Shore Tampa and South Tampa. And these two are kind of similar in the same place. West Shore is just above South Tampa and a little bit to the west. Um, this whole area that I'm speaking about, it is actually south of Tampa, Tampa International Airport, all right? And just so, uh, just so people know, um, in this area, there are two malls. You have Tampa International Plaza, which is Tampa, National, Tampa, Tampa International Mall. Then you also have the West Shore Mall. All right, now Tampa International Mall, this place has all the Gucci, the Louis Vuitton stores, you know, it's the high-end stores, uh, but there are plenty of other regular stores that you see in uh, the mall. You know, you have the Zara's, you have the uh, Dillard's, Neiman Marcus, and West Shore Tampa, West Shore Tampa Mall, it's the Macy's, the Dillard's, the, uh, you know, just the regular stores that's in the mall. All right, I just want to get that out the way first. Uh, just so people get an idea of uh, what you can do, where you can shop at. Um, also, in South Tampa, the West Shore area, there are plenty of grocery stores, all right? And there are plenty of just little shopping centers as well. Um, now, get to the important part, the housing. The housing. Now, West Shore, South Tampa, there are plenty of houses. There are plenty of houses, all right? Um, the houses range in price from $500,000 and above. Now, that's a range. That's the median. Um, it may even be a little more expensive just from driving through uh, the area. You know, um, I would say I wouldn't be surprised if it was $600,000 per house, you know, the average price of the house. But it's a very beautiful area. I mean, it's one of those places where, you know, you could kind of, it's almost like a, a place where you dream of living you know it's a if you have a vision on how you want to live a four or five bedroom house uh with the pool and it's it's one of those places and i highly recommend the area to live in if you can afford it also there are not many apartment complexes down there in the west shore south tampa area um especially along the west the west side of south tampa but there are some apartment complexes there are not many but there are and these apartment complexes are going to be pricey, all right? The average uh, studio apartment uh, in this area will range from fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars and above, all right? Fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars and above, and um, I'm not sure about the square footage. You know that you'll have to do a little more research on your own, uh, depending on if you want to really live in the area. But I say that if you move in the area, it's a great place to live. Um, like I said, it's very easy on the eyes. Um, I believe you'll feel very comfortable in the neighborhood, just walking around, you know, just to stretch your legs. Um, most of the communities, especially the apartment complex, they're gated. Um, there are also gated um, communities as far as homes. Um, not all homes are in gated communities, but the communities seem to be very neighborhoodish to where uh, neighbors may interact, you know, and people, um, it looks like people will look out for you, you know, to make sure that uh, nobody goes on your property. Uh, you know, it just seems like a great neighborhood to live in. Um, once again, I highly recommend it. Uh, now, the main streets that run through South Tampa and West Shore, all right. Now, going from west to east, you have uh, Kennedy Boulevard, West Kennedy Boulevard. And West Kennedy Boulevard, like I said, it'll take you from west to uh, west of South Tampa, West Shore, to Center City, which is east of South Tampa, all right? It take you from west to east. And then also you have Del Marbury Highway, which runs from South Tampa, where a McDill Air Force Base is, and it'll take you all the way to the greater Carrollwood area. Now, from South Tampa to the greater Carrollwood area, that could be like a 30-minute 30, 30 drive um, depending on where you're at in South Tampa, but even if you have to make that trip, the trip is not long at all. There's plenty to, there are so many shopping centers and uh, 
it's such a nice environment that time just kind of ticks by, it just kind of flies by. And uh, it's a lot of traffic during some points of the year. You know, along Del Marbury Highway, there is the Buccaneer Stadium. So you can imagine during the fall months when football season is around, you know, that Saturday, that Sunday, um, traffic may be a little heavy in these areas, uh, but it's a great place to live. It's a great place to, to live. Um, I love it down there. If I could afford it, I would definitely be around that area, uh, especially being that it's so close to the airport. Um, it's so close to the water. You know, St. Peter's, St. Petersburg, the highway to St. Petersburg is 10 to 15 minutes away from any given direction. Um, but it's about like 20 minutes from St. Petersburg, maybe 30 minutes from Clearwater, Florida. And uh, it's, I mean, it's kind of ideal, you know? So if you're looking forward to moving to Tampa, if you're looking for places to move in Tampa, West Shore, South Tampa is a great place. If you're looking for homes, looking for houses, if you're looking for an apartment, like I said, it's gonna be pricey, but it's a great place to live and it's a great place to look. They're also building many more apartments as well. So just keep your eye out. Um, a lot of people say it's a, this is kind of a busy time of the year, but you know, and a lot of apartment complexes are actually have a long waiting list. So definitely do your research before you move down here. All right. Um, right now, I'm waiting on my apartment to uh, be get finished renovated, and I've been in this hotel for a month already. You know, but this is a view of what Tampa would look like. It's a beautiful place. Palm trees are everywhere, and uh, just make sure you do your research and have something lined up so you're not uh, spending as much money as uh we are even though this wasn't the plan but just make sure that you've got enough in the tank and uh you're prepared but good luck finding housing um and if you're moving down here i wish you safe travels along the way uh tampa is an exciting place and uh, this beautiful scenery here will be waiting for you it'll be waiting to relax you and uh, rejuvenate your soul so Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped out. Like I said, this is for West Shore, South Tampa. I'll be making other videos about the other surrounding areas of Tampa and uh, what there is to do in those areas. But thank you very much. My name is Kenyatta. And from me to you, I wish you many blessings. Take care. I'll talk to you later.